Hey y'all, I'm Amber. Welcome to my channel. So um, whether you are a new visitor, subscriber, returning viewer, welcome. I'm happy to have you. I'm super excited because I have um, a book haul, which is one of my favorite things to record, one of my favorite things to watch, and reading is one of my absolute favorite things to do. So I am not going to delay, but before I get started, I am going to suggest you go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so that you will be notified every single time that i make a post let's just go ahead and get into it so the very first book that i got is am i there yet the loop the loop de loop zigzagging journey to adulthood so i teach eighth graders for those of you who may not know i teach eighth grade ela so that's reading and writing um essentially literacy and I strive to get books that um, not only are like entertaining for the students, but also um, give them some real world scenarios, examples, teach them social empathy, um, things like that. So I got Am I There Yet? Because a lot of the students by this age, you know, 13, 14, 15 years old, they, um, you know, they start to think, well, you know, if I work, then I'm grown. I help out around the house, so I'm grown. Whatever the case may be, this kind of gives them like a reality check and tells them some of the parts of the journey of becoming an adult. Next book that I got is Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. This is actually a movie and I was super excited to have come across this book. I have not seen the movie, but it looks pretty entertaining. Um, so I went ahead and got it for my... Um, for my classroom i know that it is a love story it's kind of a i don't know whether it's traditional or non-traditional but especially considering the fact that it's like a zombie and a woman and whatever the case may be we're happy warm bodies i'm happy to have it next book that i got is the magic misfits by neil patrick harris who is an actor um I saw this around Amazon. It like keeps popping up every time I come and buy a book. Do I think that this is necessarily eighth grade specific? Mm, no, probably a little beneath. Um, but regardless, I still am going to get it. Like I said, there are students that are on various levels and this is going to be pretty entertaining for them, especially if they love fantasy novels. So I am happy to have this and the book is so cute, right? And it's written by a, an actor. It's not the love, right? another book all american murder the story of aaron hernandez the football player by james patterson i did actually read this book i checked it out from the library when it first came out and when i saw it on amazon i was just like hmm some of the boys maybe even girls i'm a girl i liked it i read it but some of the students will enjoy reading this it kind of gives insight about aaron hernandez what his life was like um, some of the incidences that happened in his life, of course, the famous murder um, that he was convicted of. And it kind of adds some extra information that I'm not going to share. I am going to encourage you to read it. I think that this is more tailored towards adults, uh, but I think that the students that are on a higher level or are interested in sports and football or are familiar with Aaron Hernandez would enjoy this story. This is going to be a book that students will need to get permission for. I do have parental um, parental consent forms that parents will have to sign if they agree to let their students read books that are like young adult or older, uh, PG-13 or older. Um, this will be one of them. So unless the student has parental permission, they would not be able to check out this book from the classroom. Moving right along, I have The Living, and it says the fight begins when you survive this is by matt de la pena and it's talking about how the character gets a summer job and so he's going to be working on this cruise liner and he's trying to help out his mom and his sister with the bills he thinks hey it's going to be a walk in the park it's going to be easy but there's a storm that happens um there's an earthquake that happens and it's like a chain of events that are happening so this seems more like a sci-fi type book uh, but I think that some of the students are going to be interested and I also have while I'm talking about Matt De La Pena I also have another book of his I bought two actually three total this trip um, but another one that we have is Ball Don't Lie and this is about Sticky who is a foster kid he's kind of an outsider doesn't really have 
his own circle of influence or doesn't really know where to turn but he can play basketball and it might be his ticket out of where he have, wherever he's from his neighborhood and so this i'm guessing this is going to follow his story with basketball i'm excited to read that one as well <clears throat> so i got mexican white boy and this is talking about um danny and he is half mexican and i'm guessing half white right he sorry mama found something so anyway so mexican white boy tells about his story of being mixed um he grows up in san diego which is kind of close to the mexican border they find out that he can't speak spanish his mom is white and so he's convinced that it's because of his whiteness that his dad is sent back to mexico so he goes to mexico to spend the summer and he finds that he is going to have to face some problems or some demons as the books say to try to figure out you know how to best become himself i'm guessing that his mexican side of the family is going to believe that he's too white where his white side of the family may believe that he's too mexican i don't exactly know i'm curious to see how this is going to go over with the students and i am curious to actually read this book myself moving on the next book that i have is salt to the sea and this is talking about ref for refugees following four secrets it's the winter of 1945 and okay so i'm guessing this is sometime around okay good this is the same author that wrote between shades of grays which is a holocaust book and so this might be a um i think it's set in the same timeline it's following four refugees who are leaving because of the soviets advancing um and we'll see like that so they're trying to get to safety and freedom and we're going to follow their stories, their secrets, their journeys, and we're going to see how those four, <clears throat> excuse me, intertwine. So I saw this on Amazon and I'm excited to read this. This cover looks a little bit different than the one that I had saved on my wish list, but it's the same book. So I'm going to imagine it's the same thing. And so you might notice that a lot of the books that I have, I even have more. There's kind of like a great variety of ethnic backgrounds and diversities, genders, things like that. I want to provide a space where everyone is comfortable and where the students can get a perspective outside of their own. That's where that empathy comes in, right? When you can view through someone else's eyes, even though you may not necessarily be able to identify with them. So I try to get books from different time periods, uh, different genres, different ethnic backgrounds, authors from different ethnic backgrounds, uh, different genders, things like that, just because I want them to be able to see various perspectives, right? Just because I'm a girl doesn't mean I can't read a book about football, right? Just because I'm a guy doesn't mean that I can't read about um, love or magic or things like that, right? So I want to provide a variety of books. Moving right along. So another book that I think is going to be quite a hit is Monday's Not Coming. This is written by an African-American author, Tiffany D. Jackson. There's also another book that she has. It's like, let let her rhyme, let the rhyme, let me hear a rhyme, something like that. Uh, I am going to actually go ahead and order it. Uh, but this is talking about the story of how um, the main character's best friend disappears. No one really notices that she is gone except for her. And nobody really cared about the fact that she was missing until she is found a year later. So I am super, yeah, it's called Let Me Hear Around. So I'm super excited to have this book. I think I'm gonna go ahead and order the two books, um, the two other books that she has. So Let Me Hear Around and Allegedly. So the next book that I got is by Toni Morrison, another African-American author. And this is The Bluest Eye, one of her most famous novels. And it's talking about a young black girl who is praying for beauty. She doesn't feel beautiful or pretty. She's talked about for her curly hair, her dark skin, her brown eyes, and she wants to be blonde hair and blue eyed. Um, and so it's like, it gets more intense as she gets older. And so Toni Morrison is going to essentially in this novel, I've never actually read it before. I've heard great things about it, but it seems that she's speaking to those um, young black girls and even us older black girls who may not necessarily be happy with the traits and the features that we were born with. Um, me, I've always had an issue with my skin color. You know, as I get older, I get lighter. And that's like, I talk about myself as a lighter complexion. When I was younger, I was more of a darker complexion. I wasn't happy with that complexion either. So now I'm learning to just be happy with where I am, tan or no tan, I'm quite tan right now, um, just to be happy. And so I think blue, uh, the blue eye, 
It's probably going to be another book that they're going to have to have permission for, but I'm super excited to read about it. And I'm also excited to get more of the Toni Morrison books. All right, another book that I got, I'm not going to talk too much about because everybody is familiar with The Great Gatsby. So I'm happy to have another copy of The Great Gatsby in my classroom. This was one of my favorite books that I read. Students actually don't read this until 11th grade. So this is a little bit older, but I love it. And if they want to give it a go, go for it, right? Another book that I have is by Kwame Alexander is Books. I have Crossed and so I'm happy to have this. I love that Kwame Alexander sometimes writes in poetry. Um, in, I'm guessing in prose and so I'm super excited about that book this is talking about soccer a lot of my students love soccer see the soccer and basketball right few football but mostly soccer and basketball so I'm happy to have that and I will put it right next to crossed oh right in front of me second to last book that I got is the girl in the picture this looks like a psychological thriller um, that is geared towards young adults she wasn't supposed to be at a party, but when she got a text, she couldn't resist going. And now she can't stop thinking about the argument and the kiss that she had. So a gentleman is found dead in the woods. I'm guessing that's who the girl was with. And this is a psychological thriller again. Some of my students may or may not like psychological thrillers. I'm not exactly sure if they have been exposed to them or not, but I used to love them when I was their age. Literally, I used to live a lot of uh, Joan Lowry Nixon. I loved reading her books. I have a couple of her books. I need to get some more, but I loved reading them. And so I want to get them some exposure to this. Okay. This also looks like a young adult novel. So it will be in my young adult section. And then last but not least, I have I think within the past few months, about like two or three copies of this exact same book. I guess it was pressing. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so this is the front cover and this is the back. And I guess this is about a student who is going back and forth about her two different um, lives that she may be leading her American life versus her traditional Muslim life. I am not going to call out a race because i am not exactly sure what it is but yeah so i was right so she has basically is leaving a double life and so she's trying to figure out how to find the balance between the two lives and merge them into one um so if you have hung on this long thank you so much for staying with me thank you for your patience thank you for being with me go ahead and give me a like so i can know who stuck around to the very end all right so again if you haven't already go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below like this video leave me a comment if you so feel led or desire to i would love to get some more book recommendations and with that being said i will see you next time bye